Yo, what's going on? Johnny Man Beast here, finally, with a detailed, in depth guide on how to defeat Meinlieben in under two hours. A few things to note about this trophy it's arduous and laborious, it's gonna test your patience because of the unskippable cutscenes which we're witnessing now. If you get like half hour into the game, you've probably watched 20 minutes of unskippable cutscenes and then to die there and then have to restart them is a bit soul destroying, but that's just how it is. This is a Fergus run, so make sure you pick Fergus at the start right here. Go on, Captain, make a choice. We're gonna give you some tips and tricks on how to make it as easy as possible. And hopefully with this guide, you're uh, you'll fly for it you know it's very very doable you just got to practice what i would suggest is doing your practice runs on i am deaf deaf incarnate which is the same as my lieben difficulty however i am deaf incarnate has got checkpoints so if you think oh the courtroom section or venus or something like that i'm struggling with get yourself a checkpoint on i am deaf incarnate practice that bit over and over and then that'll give you a good direction of what to do and what not to do when you're on your mind leap and runs okay so so yeah apologies for not posting for a bit I haven't posted in a couple of months. Last year I lost about five to ten years worth of PlayStation save files. Um, I also lost a lot of videos um, from the Sekiro runs I was doing. I lost some Elden Ring footage. Uh, yeah, it was a disaster. I lost about a terabyte of footage and save files um, by being uh, disorganised, basically. I had uh, I backed them up onto a key and I lost that key and everything which was backed up onto my other drive my computer I got a virus and had to wipe everything so I lost everything yeah uh, <laughs> it took me a bit of a while to think uh, right okay all right let's let's post some stuff again so there's been a bit of a gap in between me posting, but I'm hoping to be posting regularly again soon. Got some no-hit guides on Demon Souls and Bloodborne coming out uh, after this. So yeah, um, stay tuned. There should be plenty of footage. And uh, yeah, yeah, back to mine leaving. So tips and tricks for mine leaving. Um, you want to pick which weapons you're you're uh, you're most comfortable with. Without a doubt, the fully upgraded rifle is the best weapon. Once you've got the jungle magazines and the armor piercing rounds, I mean, that gun is a boss destroyer for the heavily armored soldiers. It will just pick them apart, especially if you get headshots. The shotgun's great, especially when you get the rotor attachment. It lets you fire three bullets instead of one, which is really handy for the heavily armored soldiers. Keep your eyes out for the commandos. They're going to keep calling reinforcements. So uh, if you get into a little section in the game where there's, say, two commandos and a bunch of enemies, you'll want to take the commandos out as quickly as possible. Then you can take the enemies out. And the commandos, once they're dead, aren't able to call reinforcements. Because if you don't kill the commandos, they're just going to keep flooding that part of the level with more enemies. Also, what I'll do with this run is... As I'm playing along in the game, I use like a red arrow. I'll pop it on the screen to show you where the enemy's going to be. So if you're about to turn a corner and there's going to be an enemy there, I use the red arrow to signals for that. I use a circle for the upgrades, like your toolboxes to upgrade your weapons to get better attachments and stuff. Also, what I'll do is if there's any important fights where you need to keep your... Um, ears open for audio cues or you need to look out for visual cues i'll stick a little symbol on the screen to signify that you need to do that i'll also give you a heads up in the commentary as well but that should cover what i'm going to do this run's done in under two hours a few of the strats we use aren't the safest but in the any percent a lot of the strats in that are far far more dangerous so yeah uh I'm not skipping these cutscenes because basically uh, the footage which is playing in the background was from the uh, former world record run I had of the glitchless version. I believe Simba Tryhards beat that quite substantially. So this run's been beaten um, and I'm not sure whether Trader of Dead beat him or I definitely saw 
a new any percent which was uploaded recently by mr kz demos um so trader of dead and kz demos have a mine leap and run up as well check all of them people that simba try hard mr kz demos and trader of dead they've all contributed to uh to mine leben so make sure you check them out give them their props one last thing if anyone finds this video helpful or you enjoy the content or the commentary please do me a massive favor and subscribe um it's going to help me a lot grow the channel i'd like to double the amount of subscribers this year so it's really important if anyone enjoys the content or wants to help me out um, make sure you subscribe and i really really appreciate it here we are we're about to fight our dad who is a total cunt we're gonna smash him in the face with a pot so he's got a nice scar on his face when we see him later and maybe he will know you shouldn't shoot dogs and also don't be slapping your wife as well so in this bit we want to look to our left pick a pot up run up he's gonna grab us and we smash that pot across his Nazi face and give him a good scar and that's the first mini playable section of the game um, we're coming up to the first the first part which we're going to start in a second in the wheelchair is actually one of the harder parts of the game because you don't have your upgrade you move slowly because you're in the wheelchair so this one might take a bit of practice and you'll see what I mean like it's quite easy to die in this first section and then you have to watch this eight minute non-skippable cutscene again so in future, if anyone, <laughs> and I doubt they are from Bethesda, sees this, please, please, please add skippable cutscenes in future. Because this is a right pain in the arse, uh, watching these cutscenes over and over again. The amount of times I have seen Bessie get shot is <laughs> it's just atrocious. And I love dogs. You know. Mean, mean man. But anyway. Uh... I will add a card so I'll add cards and chapters into this run so you can skip past the commentary if you want uh, yeah I think that's kind of all there is to it um, yeah we're gonna use the battle walker later on in the game that will be our upgrade that we go for it's a fantastic upgrade and uh, yeah we're gonna use uh, upgraded machine pistol mainly and uh, rifle but anyway here it is let's get ready to start mein Leben this will be chapter one reunion and we'll be starting on our first mission called awakening let's do this so roll forward meet your comrade who's about to meet his untimely end grab your machine pistol and the first enemy will be on the right. There's a wooden board you can shoot the enemy through if you're worried about just rolling out and having him. Um, he's not too hard. Uh, he'll be at your level in the chair anyway. So if you just turn right and aim, you should get him with a headshot. Now on the right here is an enemy he's going to walk through. Hopefully you can pick him off a headshot, unlike me. Straight through the tunnel there, um, there will be another enemy. Two are going to walk down the stairs. You pick one of them off and then hit the fire extinguisher or you can wait for them uh, a couple of seconds extra and then just hit the fire extinguisher and you kill both of them. As you go up the elevator, ignore this one because he's just shooting a body on the floor for no reason. Um, these two can't get you. In a locker is some armour. Roll around the corner and these two will explode in the microwave. Now Set's going to tell you to stay still because you don't want to get turned into mush. So wait for a second here, turn the microwave field off and then we can roll forward and head towards the door at the end on the right there. Pick up some armour and some guns, whatever you need. Go through, meet the set. Okay, so now roll forward and there will be an enemy on your left. We will kill him by turning on the microwavable field. Head down the stairs, there's an enemy at the end. We will shoot this enemy right in front of us, which will alert the enemy we just saw. He will run around the corner and die in the field. Pick this fella off, turn the microwave field off, and then head the route behind you. Head down the route behind you, sorry. 
turn right, pick up some armour. Now just up here at the top of the ladder is going to be another enemy. So sit on the cog, pick this fella off, better than I do hopefully. And now on the left there's going to be two enemies in this door. Okay, you can pick them both off. Piss poor shooting there, but <laughs> it's what it is. Okay, get on the right side lift. Wait for it to take you to the top. There's going to be an enemy walking through. We can roll up behind him and you can shoot him or you can get a silent kill in your chair for a trophy. I think it's called crippled per able. Okay, there's an enemy right at the bottom here. He's right next to a fire extinguisher. So we want to go down, aim at the fire extinguisher. That will take him out. Go left and then right. And then peek out and aim at the fire extinguisher. That should take one of them out. Hold up for a couple of seconds. And then hit this fire extinguisher. And it should take both other enemies out. Roll on down. And straight in front of us is going to be an enemy. We want to take him out, we want to roll back down them stairs, and then turn right. And then we'll take another right and a left. Then we're going to fall, fall over. In this window right there is going to be an enemy, so just aim straight forward. And pick him off. Wait for both enemies to surface here, and then shoot directly in between them. And that'll kill both of them. And that is the first chapter out of the way. This is one of the harder chapters in the game, as I said before. So, if you've made it this far, you can definitely do mind leaping. Simple as that. So we're going to flip the switch. We're going to get back on the escalator. There is an enemy here on the left. However, if you're quick enough, you just roll straight past him. Turn left and head down to the switch. Flip the switch. And that is the end of chapter one. Okay, so we have chapter one complete. Crack open a beer and get ready for another cutscene. Yeah, we show Anya we're okay. And now we get to watch another eight minute cutscene. Hooray. Yay. Well done. So now we meet our story's antagonist, Frau Engel. She's another complete cunt. <laughs> of epic proportions and she's going to ask them to pick us up bring us to our knees and then we can see some of the other cast in the back in the back right we've got Sigrun her daughter there and we've got Fergus on the left who we saved um, it's a better cutscene this one although the Wyatt cutscene is shorter um, we don't want Wyatt's weapon that's why we've saved Fergus this one's better because at least we don't have to listen to Wyatt moaning about his ear. Fergus just takes the arm amputation like a total champ. Whereas Wyatt's running around like, oh my ear, my ear. Get over it. <laughs> yeah, these non-skippable cutscenes, they're not the one. Although this is a great cutscene in all fairness. After you've seen it a couple of hundred times, though, it definitely uh, loses <laughs> what it was initially. So in this chapter, we get our power armor. The power armor is fantastic. It, it, he's able to run and jump super fast. Um, it allows him to carry more armor up to 200%. Um, but the health stays at 50, I believe. And by that, what I mean is you can get up to 200% in your health, but it will always tick back down to 50. So, back to the game. Right now, we're watching Frau Engel berate her daughter about becoming a future diabetic and then a second about not being able to decapitate a helpless woman so different styles of parenting i guess um i will say this voice actor played by nina frazozek a fantastic voice actor she's really good in this and in uh in the first one the new order where she gets her scar william j blaskovitz is undercover in the train cart and she's sitting there with her partner, Hans Winkle, 
or booby <laughs> and uh, claiming that she can spot anyone that's impure or non-Aryan and then she lets him go and gains this lovely scar that she's so fond of. Now I don't know if it's just me but that sounds like a direct reference to Die Hard where Harry Ellis is negotiating with Hans Gruber and he's like Hans booby and I mean that's got to be a direct reference to Die Hard because it's the same fucking name. But yeah, uh, the voice actor, fantastic in this. She's really, really good. So props to Nina Frazozek. Since we're talking about voice actors, we've got to mention Brian Bloom, who plays William J. Blaskovitz. He's fucking amazing in uh, the Wolfenstein series. But what is surprising is how many other video games he does voices in. Um, he's the voice of Hawk in Love, Death and Robots. He's in the remake of Modern Warfare and Modern Warfare 2, the newer ones which have just come out. Um, he does a voice in Mass Effect. He does a voice in Star Wars The Old Republic. Oh yeah, he plays Brock Pike in the 2010-18 with uh, Bradley Cooper and Rampage Jackson. So Brian Bloom absolutely smashing it out of the park with his voice acting in this one. So if we're going to uh, mention Nina Frazozek, we've got to mention Brian Bloom as well. All right, back to the game. So in this next chapter, we're going to get a couple of the uh, main weapons we're going to use. We'll be able to use dual wielding machine pistols. So one in each hand which is going to be fantastic, we use them a lot, we're going to pick the assault rifle up which I mentioned earlier, it's a fantastic, possibly the best weapon in the game, I think it's the best weapon, we're going to meet some new enemies, we're going to meet the commandos, they may actually be called common dumps, but I call them commandos, these people drop enigma codes, uh, which you can use in the enigma machine, and then you can go back and hunt down the uber commandos, but uh, we'll be able to pick a pistol up, um, I won't pick it up in this run, but I'll point out where it is, um, yeah, so right now, Frau's going to try and decapitate Fergus, Sigrun's going to push her out of the way, and she's just going to amputate him, um, he's going to roll along and he's going to push the power armor to us. We're going to pick it up uh, and we're going to we're going to get suited up and ready for this chapter. This chapter is this uh, it's still the first chapter um, reunion, but we're going to start the mission under siege. Okay. Now once you've gained the ability to walk around in Caroline Becker's power suit we um, we can turn around a 180 and uh, and grab some some ammo um, we might also want to teabag the dead Nazis on the floor so now Fergus is back up and he's shaken off losing an arm almost immediately he's gonna walk up and furiously threaten Sigrun She's going to immediately break down and explain that she knows exactly what we need to do to get off the Auschmerzer and explain that we need to release the U-Boat. So, once she steps up and unlocks the door for us, the mission is going to begin. So we're going to start under siege. Here it is. He's gonna he's gonna point at her. We'll pick another weapon up so we can do our dual wield. She's gonna open the door. We're gonna walk through, take a left, we're gonna jump on this vent. We're gonna once we're in the vent, we're gonna take a, a left. We're gonna turn round and we're gonna grab the axe. Now the axe is gonna be used for silent takedowns and also to open vents. So once you're in this vent, take a right, walk to the bottom of the vent. And then take another right we want to go through and where that arrow was is where we're going to get the first enemy of this mission i'm going to pop him in the head i'm going to run around take a left and climb up the ladder i'm going to go straight in front of us and climb up the ladder now just here on the right in front of the vent is where the pistol is well i'm not going to pick it up but that's where it is so in the vent take a right take a left as we fall through the vent this is where 
the two enemies are. These are the two commandos I mentioned. We're going to go and kill the one on the right near the vent. And then we're going to stand on the handrail to our left. We look down to the right. We're going to cap him. And then on our left is uh, the next one. We're going to turn around and we're going to jump. Here is one. And where the other arrow was is the other one. We're going to pick him off. We're going to run round. There is one on the right that I don't actually notice in this run because I'm trying to do it quickly. So I pick him off and then we've got to turn round and cap the one behind us. And we want to run through and go to the vent on our left. We go through the vent, take a left, stand up and on our right is where we pick up the assault rifle. So get all of what you can in there. Make sure you pick up an extra hatchet. I'm going to put dual weld assault rifles on. And we're going to go through the vent, pop up here, we're going to release the door to A2. We're going to come out and take a right, we're going to throw a grenade at the flammable tank. We're going to drop through, there are two enemies here. One is on the left, we're just going to pick him off. There's another one on the left, but I'm going to run past him. Take your first left. Now just here is our first enemy. On the right is going to be three more enemies, but we're going to run past them. I'm going to take our left, pick off that, that enemy. Now we're going to run down to the bridge. There's two enemies where those two arrows were. A well-placed headshot can take both, both of them out. Um, then we're going to run forward and release the tractor arms. And we're going to turn back round. Now we're going to come out to one of our beefier soldiers. He's going to be right in the middle there. We're going to run up, jump, and do a 180, and then we're going to hit his power pack. That will kill him dead. We're then going to pick up his laser. I uh, lost a bit of frame rate there, so apologies. Um, if you get these two barrels, there'll be some health and some ammo in. We're going to go for this top corner on the doors because we don't want to hit these barriers I'm looking at. The idea of this is so you can stand behind the barrier and the enemies will fire at the barrier and not hit you. Then you can pick the corner off one by one and then run through, hit the door, run through, pull the lever and then you're safe. So that will effectively mean you can skip fighting every enemy in that room. Next, take the path on your right. You wanna go down, collect whatever, any items you can, that uh, go through this door on your right here, there'll be an enemy on the left. Uh, hit the enemy and plot up in the corner. And then we wanna wait for the super soldier to walk down the stairs. As soon as he's past the stairs, just run straight past him, click the lever. Load up on ammo, wait for the door to lift. There's going to be three soldiers in here, one directly in front of you, one to the left path and one in front of you uh, on the left as well. Then stand exactly where I am and just wait for the super soldier to walk up to you. We want to wait till he gets to the corner and then we're just going to run straight past him. Open the door here as you run through on the balcony. There's going to be two enemies. Uh, charge up and pick them off. Or you can run and stand, uh, run into the corner where Fergus and Sigrun are right there and just sit next to them and let them two pick them off. It will take longer, but you'll be able to get through that bit without having to worry. Sigrun's then gonna say hurry we have to go and the level is done so with that level done we're about to start mission three which is called the signal we're going to use our laser craft work to open vent one and then vent two we're going to drop through we're going to take a left we're going to drop down again take another left and we're just going to run to the bottom slide under the two valves there and head up the ladder this is quite formulaic, this one. The enemy should always be in the same place. Now in this level, we're gonna see one enemy just there where the thing is. We're gonna hit him with a hatchet and there's another one on the left. So pick them off however you see fit. Silence pistol or hatchet. There's two more right in front of you there. Get one of them and then you can run up, take the one out on the left for combat uh, takedown. There'll be one enemy right in front of you here. You can shoot him and as you run around this corner, there's two enemies, but a well-placed headshot should take both of them out. Pick up another hatchet. Don't stand as close as I did to that flammable container. 
uh, take that out. That vent there, if you jump through that and follow that round, there'll be an armor pack on the other side. So jump over the barrier. Um, there'll be a little uh, cutscene which will make you fall over there. Uh, once you get back to your feet, run round to your right, take a left, up the ladder. We're going to run across the bridge and then it's going to fall to pieces and we're going to drop down. Uh, William J is hardcore, he will just stand back up and continue on. Now run straight forward, jump across, land in the water, head up, through the vent, down to the stairs and take a right. There's two enemies right in front of you here, um, you can miss them completely with a hatchet like I did there. Um, and run up and get a combat takedown on the other. Right in front of you is a vent. Open the vent, go through, take a quick right and left whilst picking up your health packs. Jump up. Over this barrier is going to be another two enemies where these arrows are. You can uh, combat takedown or hatchet. Um, up the stairs to the left, there's two enemies. We get one with the hatchet, turn left, and we'll pick another one off. Okay, right, so run up here, jump over the barrier, look down here, there's a canister. If you shape where that arrow is, you will take out the commander without having to headshot him like I did there. So run through, there's going to be two enemies here. Just pick the one off on the right, you can use the fire extinguisher if you like, just where the little arrow is. So run up, left, right. Now there's three enemies here. The commando is in the door at the back. You can't see him, but he's next to the arrow on the right. So pick off the two soldiers on the left. Far better than I do, hopefully, because I totally pulls that up. Take the commando out, get up the ladder. Hopefully you don't take a back full of lead <laughs> like I just did then. After you've reached the top of the ladder, take the vent on the right, head down the pipe. When the pipe breaks, head through the vent, take a left, knock on the door to finish the level, and wait for Bombay to congratulate you. So we start the last part of chapter one, reunion. This is the reunion part. We're going to take a left and a right, and we're going to run up to set, greet set, skip the cutscene, run out of here, take a right and then a left, open the door, now immediately on your right, make sure you do not miss this, is your first upgrade, right where the Enzo circle is there. Step in. A crazy drone is going to knock some crates off and then it's going to run downstairs. Reload your weapon. He's going to pop out from the left just here and then we're going to gun him down and we're going to run back and let Set know that we've taken care of the drone. In this area, is always going to be ammo refill so bear that in mind every time you're back on the ship let set know and run away from set we're going to run straight up to Anya she's going to turn around and try and confide in us and we're just going to run away take a left go through sets lab and to the ammo department where Fergus will be use your first upgrade I use it on a silenced attachment for the machine pistol but you pick the pistol up you can also use it on the single pistol as well and that's the end of reunion okay so now we're gonna start chapter 2 this is the first mission of chapter 2 it's called downtown we're gonna pull out our laser we're gonna shoot straight forward three times and it will get rid of these three grates so we can go through the vent I'm gonna run up um, put our dual wheel pistols on run down this path take a left at the bottom there's an enemy over there in the distance we're gonna ignore him and just run straight up the path in the front okay we're gonna run down this beam there is an enemy just there where the arrow is you can get him with a hatchet there's an enemy there on the right so retrieve your hatchet shoot this enemy there's two enemies we've got to worry about one's commando and then there's another enemy there on the left so head through the door on the left straight in front of you is the next upgrade toolkit collect that go up the stairs on the left there's a drone here but we're just going to run past this drone so full past there's a couple of enemies there again we're going to just run straight past these we're going to run straight through, take a right up the stairs, pick up all the armour and health packs you'll see in here. Yeah, get nice and juiced up. 
There's an enemy there. We're going to run past this enemy as well. There's two on the left there. We're going to run past both of these and then we're going to slide down the stairs. Take a right at the bottom of the stairs and jump over this bit and that will lead us into the subway section. Okay, so once we reach this subway section of Manhattan, uh, pull out a non-silenced weapon, aim at these two dogs here. There's two in a row. You can get both of them with a well-placed headshot. Um, and then you're going to have one coming from the left and one coming from the right. The idea of using a non-silenced weapon is it will drag uh, all of their attention towards you. And when you're that far back, you have plenty of time to shoot them. There's an enemy here on the left. Run through. Pick him off. There's another enemy here on the left as we run round. Pick him off. Run round on the right. Slide through that hole back there on the left there's going to be an enemy at the end of that train car pick him off with the hatchet run around this way left right left there's going to be a super soldier which falls just in front of this door if you run up quickly and jump round, you can pick off his energy pack on his back there now run through there's a health uh, there's a tool kit right in front of you collect your upgrade kit turn around Start the car, do a 180, run to the back there as the train's moving forward. Take the door on your right and then a left and run down to the bottom to start the train. And that is the subway section done. So we start the midtown section of Manhattan by being ejected from the train. On the right, as we stand up, the front right, there's a number of crates. Next to the crates is some ammo. There's a soldier just just there in the left in the front of the door you can miss him with the hatchet like I did and then take him out with the pistols run up the stairs pick some health up there's an enemy just at the top of the stairs on the left there we can take him out there's two enemies up there on the left you can pick them out from where I'm standing crouch down and go through the gap in the wall there there's two more enemies on the stairs we're going to pick these two off and you run round and there's a commando at the top. Uh, we want to take the commando out and then fall through the gap right there. Slide under this part of collapsed building. Walk through, pick up some health, run round to this block. Right there on our left we have another soldier. Pick him off. We want to go up the stairs. And here is another upgrade kit. Pick up your toolbox. In these crates is some armor um, and a health pack. Um, right in front of us, we've got a dog and a commando. So we want to take both of them out. Try not to fall off that edge like I did there, because you look like a plum. Run back round. Jump across. Pick this dog off. Jump over. At the end there, we have another soldier take him out turn right and a right again now a left you want to take a right and a left and there'll be a soldier at the end of the walkway there he is we'll take him out turn left we have three soldiers there and, an, and another one down at the bottom take them out as, as best as you can reload that's the other soldier running up the stairs there so we have picked both of these off there'll be some health behind you so top up if you lost any health right here or about here is where one of the big armored soldiers is going to come down um, if you're quick enough you can open the gate you'll take a bit of damage to your back but you can run around plot yourself in the corner um, and get your dual wield assault rifles out upgrade them all the way lovely and then we want to climb the ladder to exit the level and get ready for the penthouse. Okay, so immediately start scavenging everything you can off in this caged off room in the penthouse. Um, get your uh, bullet. There's a health pack, um, a toolbox right in front of you. Grab that, grab the armor. There's going to be three enemies here. Try and pick them off as quick as possible. A drone's going to fly through right there. Try and get that before it gets too close. Otherwise, this will happen. It will fly towards you. There'll be an enemy coming in through that door if you have to run back. 
so you don't want to do that run back round. see I'm getting picked off from the left there there's another enemy coming through the bottom cage door this is where we want to get to right where I'm standing if you're doing all right those two arrows there signify the directions that all the enemies are going to come from we want to stand behind this beam and just strafe left and right so I've picked off all the enemies this is where the big super soldier the armored one is going to arrive Stand exactly where I'm standing and pick that off. Now, right here, in between, in between this uh, barrier there of the cage, um, you can pick off the drones. If you stay there, the drones are always going to turn up at this same spot. Wait for the drones. Pick that drone off. Get back to the middle pillar. These two arrows signify where other enemies can come from. However, if we just stand at this centre column again, they shouldn't spawn. And see, no enemy spawning. Okay, get back at the corner. That's the first super soldier. We take him out nice and easy. We pick off this drone in the corner. And now aim at that little triangle I'm aiming at now. Look for the feet of the other super soldier. We got the pack there. And now we're going to pick him off, pick his feet off in that little centre triangle there. And that's done. Get as many of the drones available as you can. That's another one there. That's the end of the penthouse. Other drones will be taken out by the helicopter. You see those red beams? They're the ones that are taking the drones out. So now run round. Do a little sweep for ammo and the penthouse is done easy on to the next one okay and with the penthouse over we're going to start chapter three old secrets we're going to arrive back on the eva's hammer we're going to run to a newly opened area just run through sex lab take a left go into the area where you can get your refills for your ammo head on over to this door make your way through and here we have another toolkit upgrade now this area i'm actually just going to run through you can shoot the cardboard cutouts and do a little uh, time trial challenge we're not interested in that because we're on mine lieben so just follow the route i'm taking make your way through up ladder take left slide under the pipe and run to the end and that's done we've got another upgrade kit which will work nicely that's the roll way head back take a left go all the way down head down the walkway go down the stairs take a left and there's the entrance to section f revisited now go into your upgrades menu stick your two remaining toolboxes on the laser craft work get the battery upgrade and the supercharge here we are chapter three old secrets Section F revisited. Now go up the pipe, go through the vent, and drop down. Follow the pipe round, drop down into the water, swim up to that walkway directly in front of us. We're going to hop up there. We're going to make our way round to the switch, hit the switch, that will turn the fan off, and then drop down into the water, and we can swim past the fan. You want to swim up, take a left and a right, head up the ladder, get your health pack here. As you run through here, there'll be a drone. Cap that drone, make your way round and head up the ladder. There's some armour and some health packs in this room. Get what you need and then make your way up the stairwell, drop into the vent on the right and head down the, head down the vent. So once you've made your way through the vent system, we're going to drop down into this area. You've got to flick the switch, and directly in front of you is going to be a super soldier, right there where the arrow is. Once this super soldier pops out of his case, we're going to take him out as quickly as possible. As quickly as possible, right, fuck that up. Drop down the pod, uh, where the pod's moving on the left, that'll take you down a level, just sit on the top of the moving pod. Um, start charging up your laser craft work run to the bottom here one's going to pop out of the pod straight in front of you and one's going to pop out on the pod on the left have a fully charged upgrade beam 
bang, it'll take it out in one, start charging it up again, and another one will come from the left. You pick them two off, piece of piss. Run through the vent, pull the lever, go back out from where you came from. Now run to that door on your right. Go up the ladder. So here's what I'll do. There's going to be a couple of drones in here and a couple of super soldiers. The first drone's going to be here, right through that walkway. It's just going to surface any second. There it is. And the second one is going to be across the walkway on the right, just there. Take them two out. Head down. Head off. Follow the route that I'm taking. Pull the lever and then make your way back. There is a super soldier, you want to get it to pack, although I took the pack out there, I didn't actually kill the soldier and I run past. If you're quick enough, you'll make it to the end of the level and then we can start, or well, the next chapter is the departure to Roswell. So, so next chapter, we're going to run into the helm, open the door and Anya is gonna try and talk to us about her feelings, but no one has time for that, so immediately, bolt off in the other direction, head to the top of the map, up these stairs here, and right and the left, up another set of stairs, left and right, into the hangar. Now, right here is the uh, charging port for whichever weapon you've got. On the other side is the one, if you, if you pick Wyatt, it's just on the other side of the hangar there. But yeah, recharge the chopper. Because we had the battery pack upgrade, we could uh, fill it up in one go. But if you don't have the battery um, upgrade, it's going to take two, two charges. So fill the weapon back up because we're going to want that for Roswell. There is an enemy midway into Roswell. I believe it's called a Zitadel. Um, it fires a big laser out of it at the end of Roswell so um, but we will take that out in one shot with fully upgraded supercharged laser craft work run to the bottom of the map talk to Grace and then we will start Roswell chapter 4 Roswell City now this has got one of the best voice actors in the game in my opinion obviously you got Brian Bloom Nina Frazozek but here we have Heiko Obermuller who does uh, the voice of the milkshake Nazi, who's one of my favorite characters in this. Um, this game struck me as having quite a lot in common with Inglorious Bastards, the film. Um, this character in particular reminds me of Christopher Waltz's character in Inglorious Bastards, who just oozes sinister intentions uh, and is quite difficult to watch at times. Whereas B.J. Blazkowicz is uh, just like Hugo Stiglitz. In fact, so much so that it almost looks like they base the characters directly off of him, which is mental. But I will leave this scene to play out and see if anyone thinks that this character right here has anything in common with Christopher Waltz's character in Inglorious Bastards, who plays Hans Lander. So check this out and let me know what you think in the comments. You, one strawberry milkshake, please. Oh, I hope you don't have a fire back there to put out. If so, I'll come back another time. <laughs> I'm sure the fire can wait, Commandant. One strawberry milkshake coming right up. Fireman, I recognize your face. Very Aryan face it is too. Are you out of station one? There you come, up. Oh, vielen Dank. Hmm. <laughs> now you, show me your identification. Oh. I love strawberry milkshake. It's perhaps my favorite American thing. So simple. Just milk and ice cream. The rest of the menu, however, I think you will need to address. I think it needs to be more German. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, are you from here, John Smith? Huh? I read here that you operate out of station six. 
is the location of Station 6? I'm, I'm unfamiliar with this station. Speak up. Commandant, Sie werden vom Oberkommando verlangt. War das nicht Zeit? Trink gerade noch meine Erdbeermilch. Leider nicht, Kommandant. Das Oberkommando verlangt, Sie umgehend zu sehen. In Ordnung, ich, ich komme schon. Hm. Let me know what you think in the comments. I mean, I'm almost certain they might have based that milkshake Nazi character off Christopher Waltz's character in Inglorious Bastards. Let me know in the comments. See what you think. Anyway, um, so Roswell, the underground train station. Um, this one's fairly simple. What we're going to basically do is work our way upstairs, pull a lever, and we're just going to jump into the train. Um... The quickest way to do that is balancing on a handrail, which I'll point out where it is. And you can jump straight into the top of the train and fall down. This won't take very long at all. So we're entering the underground train station. Ignore this fella on the right. We're just going to go straight past him. Head down to the bottom. There's a toolkit upgrade right there. So we're going to collect that. Stick it on whichever weapon you want. I'm going to put the nail gun attachment on this because we are going to straight merc these soldiers now. So, Bosch, you're better at shooting here. Go down quicker. All right, up here, we're going to have a dog on the left and the Commandant right in front of you. Commandant. I've been calling them Commandos for the whole run, so I'm going to carry on calling them Commandos, but I'm pretty sure it's Commandant. But... Uh, Right, so continue, get whatever you whatever you need in that room. There's loads of armor and health, so you can get yourself up. This is the handrail I was talking about. Balance right on the corner, jump across, and then drop down. And that is that section done. The rocket train one is where we're gonna we're gonna get access to the shotgun. Shotgun's a great weapon, especially when you get the rotor attachment for it, which fires three bullets. Really, really good addition. Um, we're we dual wield them and even without any attachments they're, they're, they're a really good weapon so make your way through the train head up there's two enemies right here in front of you we're going to drop down in between them so run down the middle they they hear you but they won't trigger any of the uh uber soldiers those robot soldiers in front of you on our right is going to be an enemy we'll sneak up behind him hit him in the face of a hatchet there's a big super soldier there on the left. If we go round to the right and just run around him, pick up some armor. Now this bit in the train, there's few enemies, but we are just gonna run. Run straight down to the bottom and ignore all of the enemies. There's two enemies in here we wanna focus on, those two right there. So just pound them out with the shotgun. Run round the corner, bit of armor there. Pick that up, make your way into the front of the train and pull the lever. Plot up near the door, do your reloading, uh, do whatever you need to, put your upgrades on if you haven't already, and wait for the train to stop. Jump down, there's a super soldier right at the end there, but we're going to ignore him. We, if we do this nice and quiet, we won't alert him at all. Get up to this point here. On our left, we're going to have a soldier directly in front of us. Take him out of a hatchet. Now on our left again, we're going to have another soldier. Turn the corner, hit him with a hatchet. We'll miss him with a hatchet. Pick your hatchet up out of the fallen Nazi on the floor there. Right, we have another one here. If you're quick, you can get him with a hatchet as well. If you're uncomfortable about throwing the hatchet, put your silenced machine pistols on. Just pick him off. 
because you don't want him to trigger the super soldier. I picked up food off the table there, which will get your health up to, to what you need to. If you're out of armor, behind me in those crates is another 50 armor, and it's also got a bunch of the assault rifle bullets. Now we need to sit down and wait for the platform, the elevator, to make its way to our level. And what we're going to do here is kind of a skip, because really you should press the press the um, console button and go up on the elevator. But with a well placed jump, we can land on the uh, on the beam which the cogs attached to. So just work your way around the edge there, nice. And now aim and jump onto onto the platform right there, and we're going to run to the top. And that is going to save us a bit of time, and it's also going to save us some hassle. Right there where that arrow is, is going to be a soldier. I'm going to make your way up. We're just going to blast him with a shotgun. Right there on the right is another soldier. We'll pick him off with a shotgun. Up here on the left is going to be a soldier. We'll run up and hit him with the shotgun. Turn around, pick up the hatchet, jump off the side, reload your weapons. Straight down here is a, a commando. We want to take him out. Pick him off with a hatchet there. We've got some... Uh, there's armors, there's hatchets, there's bullets all around this room. So if you take your time, see there's a couple more armor pieces. Take time with that, jump over the barrier. We need to pick this fella off, either with a silenced weapon or a hatchet. Or you can miss him with the hatchet like I just did there. Once you've picked him off, just take your time, pot around, go around to the edge and hit the, hit the trigger. Now we want to go around nice and quiet and plant our bomb. Now this, I believe, is a Zistel, this enemy. So we're gonna run up, fully charge the the full extent of what you can with the laser craft work and pick him off with a headshot. You'll take him out in one. That is the main reason we got Fergus's timeline because this weapon will just take those bosses out really quickly. Now those two there, pick them off as you run around the corner. Get to where I'm standing. You're gonna have one on the far left, you wanna take him out first, stay where I am and they're just gonna to run towards you. Sit there nice and chill, wait for them to go around the corner. There's gonna be two enemies there. That's why I've got a shotgun for the close up distance enemies and a rifle for the far ones. As soon as you pick them off, run through the, uh, run through the armor, which you knocked off that Zitadel and that will put you back up to full armor. Open the door run all the way to the top of the stairwell here there's going to be two scientists in the distance we pick them off Keep running, okay fully reload your weapons we're going to run around the corner and we're going to pick a super soldier off is which is where that arrow is get his pack hit him up get the explosion run back around the corner because you're going to have two uber soldier robots run around the corner from where we are there'll be one on the floor there take them out there's plenty of ammo in the, underneath the uh, un underneath the computers there if you want to pick some up I don't need any so right at the bottom always in the same place there's going to be a soldier spawn on that wall there he is so we take him out and at the bottom of the corridor on the right is going to be another super soldier if you fully upcharge your uh, laser craft work you'll take him out piece of piss just, just knock him over and then run to the end of the level and that is Roswell done. Chapter five, Monster, the Ranch. We're finally gonna go and give our Nazi pole sniffer of a father a proper slap, but with a hatchet. Run to the bottom of the house and pick up another upgrade toolkit. There it is on the left. Pick that up. Make your way all the way up to the top of the house. Load your weapons up. See, I'm going to put the drum magazine on that. Open the door, and here is Daddy Dearest. We're going to give him a slap with the hatchet. Bam! That's for Bessie, you motherfucker. And ultimately, we realised we were being followed all along. 
not only followed, we've been followed by a super spaceship with a massive claw like you get at those fairs to pick up toys, but these claws can pick up houses. So we're going to make our way around the house and we want to detach the claws from holding the house so the house falls. There's going to be a drone here, there's also going to be a couple of drones which come through, but if you're quick, you can avoid them shooting at you. Detach the the arm which is holding onto the house, I'll release that, there's one more. So we want to stand up, now if there is two enemies down there, a super soldier and an uber soldier, if you're quick you can just fall down and detach the final arm and uh, you won't take any damage. So as the house is now falling, William asks himself, why did he come here? Why? Why was he stupid enough to fall for that trick? Um, bam. He's out. He's been collected. Not quite sure why he was fully naked there, but it is what it is. Okay, so here we wake up, only to realise we're, we're being involved in a stage TV show. It's letting the audience know they've caught the infamous terror Billy. We've got the smiling Frau Wingle next to us being a dickhead, putting a back bag on our head. We're going to wake up in a blacked out interrogation room. Super Spech is going to be posing as your lawyer. He's going to be letting those, those guards have it, telling you what they're doing, what's going on. He's going to come in, he's going to lay down an outlandish plot to get you out of there. Super Spech, the actor, the voice actor who plays him, Don McManus. Now he's actually been in the host of stuff. I remembered him from an episode of Seinfeld where he's uh, Jerry's high school rival. There's an episode called The Race where um, they have a race against each other. But other films to note that he's been in, he's been in Shawshank Redemption. He was David Madsen in Life is Strange, the computer game. So he's done some more uh, games as well. He was also in Oceans 13, Air Force One. He was in Hannibal. National Treasure, so he's been in loads of films this boat, but he's another fantastic voice actor. Let me know in the comments who you think your favourite Wolfenstein voice actor is, because uh, um, it, the cast in this, the people they've got doing the voices is just just amazing, like, everyone does a really good job, the super specials up there. Um, yeah, so once he outlines his plot, Frau's going to come in and take him out. And then that's going to lead us into our next fight, the courthouse. Now, the courthouse is a bit of a turning point for my Lieben. I'd say the bits you've probably got to worry about are penthouse, which is easy in my opinion. Uh, the courthouse is where you can mess up. You, you can definitely mess up doing it like I do it. There's quite an easy method to doing the, court, uh, the courthouse fight. Um, with the courthouse fight, what I would suggest is if you're worried about doing it like I do it, there's a point, you'll have the judge where he's banging the gavel telling you that you're going to get swift sheer death. Next to this desk, there'll be counters that run along to the left and the right side. There'll be a lower tier and a mid tier. On the far left or far right, there's a perfect little spot to hide where you can pick their legs out. Now I'll put some arrows in and I'll point these out so that you know where to hide. If you just tuck under the desks, um, they won't be able to see you. So you'll see them constantly running past you and you just pick their legs off. You can literally do that this first part of the courthouse fight without taking any damage. It will take you like 20 minutes, but uh, it's the safest way without a doubt. Now because I don't actually do it like that, I'll point out where you can hide. And, uh, and you can do it like that if you choose. Okay, so here our nemesis Irene Frau Engel is going to come in and she's going to shoot Spech in the face. And he's going to be twitching on the floor and then she's going to give him another, another bullet to the head. And then she's going to come over and she is going to try and seduce you in one of the most sadistic ways possible. I imagine if you're stepping into the bedroom with Frau, she's going to walk out of like a 24-inch rubber strap on and pulverise your back door. 
but that's just me. <laughs> Something tells me this, uh, yeah, this woman's going to be <laughs> sadistic. Yeah. I will leave this scene to play out so you can see. And let me know what you think in the comments. Do you think she's approached you, like I said, with the strap on? Or do you think she's a tender, kind, caring lover? Who knows? Let me know in the comments. Open your mouth. Open. So, here it is, Chapter 5, Monster, The Courthouse. As I said, tips and tricks for this level. Um, get get as much ammo as you can at the start. I'm, I'm going to, uh, once you take down the enemy on the left, you'll knock him out. Grab his uh, machine pistol, because that way you can use dual... Uh, machine pistols because you're you're going to have no weapons in this so you take one of the weapons off the soldier in front of you and you beat the other one with it however the other one will drop his machine pistol next to you so if you turn left you can pick his uh, machine pistol up and then once you picked his machine pistol up you'll have dual wheel pistols then run to your left and fully uh, fully ammo up get as much ammo as you can from this this crate now I'm reloading right there's five enemies here there's three at the top where the judge was there's one on the right and there's one on the left okay now I'm gonna take the one out on the left I'm gonna get some health I'm gonna run up pick these three off and I'm very very close to dying here nine percent health that's very sloppy <laughs> okay and then I'm gonna run down there's someone over there shooting me with that um, mini gun attachment. I'm going to get some armor, another health, and I'm going to run down there and I'm going to pick up another assault rifle. There is one of the spots I spoke about in the super special scene. That's one of the hiding places. And we're going to run underneath the mezzanine. And basically the idea here is to literally just run up and down this platform. Okay, and pick any enemy off there's the main hiding space i'm talking about right there if you can make it there at the start the this this first chapter is done yeah just hide under there and pick the legs off what i'm basically going to do is just keep running up and down just up and down this mezzanine oh underneath this mezzanine and picking off the soldiers as i see them right there pick another one off keep running up and down because that's going to give you distance there's plenty of armor these uh, this point on the left where i've got the crosses is actually where they're falling down off the balcony above and they're going to jump off the mezzanine yeah and they're going to land where those x's were so just keep running up and down now in a second we need to listen out for or we we need to listen out for an audio cue after you've taken this enemy out here, you need to listen out for the audio cue. So we shot him. Now listen, you're going to hear an engine revving, and it's going to be followed by Frau saying "Terrible!" Yeah. Now once she said that, that's the first part of this bit done. 
Now hide under this desk. This is one of the hiding places I was talking about. However, it's it's the one tier down behind you. So like if you just see, plot under the desk, and then when they run up, they don't know where you are, and you can pick their legs off, okay? Now, there's a visual cue here where the light dips. As soon as the light dips, we're gonna pop out from it, and we're gonna take the packs out of the soldiers. There's another soldier there on the right. As soon as he falls down, pick his pack off, and he's gone. And that's the first part of the courtroom. Now, that was a bit quick, but it was also very sloppy. So the other option of hiding under the desk might be a better one. There's a dog running towards you, and there's also a soldier around here on the right. Pick the soldier off on, around on the right, run up to the end. If We're going to have the dog behind us. Keep your eyes out for the arrow on the left, that door. Once you've done a 180, it will be the door on the right, because uh, enemies have a habit of popping up there. Just aim at this bottom bit. All the enemies are going to run down to the stairs. Keep your eyes at the bottom of the stairs there and keep your eyes on the right of that door. You want to make sure you don't let anyone poke through the door because they will. You'll, you'll be just focusing on the enemies at the bottom of the stairs and all of a sudden one will come through that door on the right. So keep your eyes on the door and just pick all the enemies off. Okay, you're gonna once you kill a chunk of enemies, you're gonna have two super um, uh, uber soldiers, which are the robot ones. Here, see that's the first what robot there. See one just pop through that door. But now what we need to do is listen out for them falling. There's gonna be three more super soldiers that fall through, uh, fall through the roof where the first two come in. Now I look for them. These three arrows signify where they're gonna land, although I think I missed them. So listen, okay, I heard one of them move there. Okay, but I can't see them, so I missed the cue there. Those three arrows signify exactly where they're gonna land. Okay, we've got a pile of bodies there. Bodies, bodies, bodies. Yeah, um, I can't see them, so I've missed them, and I know I have. But those three arrows I kept pointing at in there, that is where they're meant to be. Now I'm just looking around. Here, here, there's one. Yeah, trigger it and run back to the top. Get your safe spot again, because behind you is going to be health, ammo, armor, all the good stuff. Pick this one off. Now, this is sloppy. I'm looking around, and I don't know where they are. So jump here. And I can't see it, but I know they're roughly in that spot. I'm looking around, I see a foot there. So we go back, we pick him off. Can't see the third one, so I just spend a bit of time looking around. Can't see anyone. Right, there he is. So pick him off quick as you like. Run round, and that's done. Now that was actually quite sloppy. Under the counter is probably a better method if you're worried about the courthouse fight. So, in reality, we didn't just murder a hundred people and escape. We were having a bit of a snooze, a bit of a daydream, and then we awake to realise we've been sentenced to death, and we're now going to be executed live on TV and in front of what I can only assume is a million plus people. We're bought out, we're laid down on the chopping block and Frau is, before we're decapitated, she's going to uh, confess how good we would have been together and <laughs> the fact she's kind of in love with us. And yeah, after that we're going to have our head rescued by the posse back on Eva's hammer. They're going to bring our head to set, and with his genius and futuristic scientific knowledge, he's going to save our head and connect it to a super soldier Nazi body that they recovered some time back. That's also going to be the start of the next chapter, which is a new suit, and we're going to be starting the mission contraptions, where we get to pick which device we want for the rest of the game. I hope everyone's enjoying the commentary. This is going to be my first full length commentary video. So, any tips for my future ones, make sure people leave them in the comments. 
and leave a like and if this video helps you at all please subscribe because it will help the channel uh, more than you can know much appreciated so after we skip the cutscene we're going to awake in a tank Anya is going to be talking to us Fergus is going to be looking rather happy and he's got a snazzy robot arm as well and Seth's going to run through and they're going to explain that we get to pick a special contraption to help us through the rest of the game now, there's three contraptions here you've got the constrictor harness you've got the ram shackles and you've got the battle walker we're definitely going to be picking the battle walker by far the best out of the three the constrictor harness will allow you to squeeze uh, Terra Billy's body through little like kind of vents and stuff like that um, if you're like underwater you'll find vents and you can swim through them but you can only do it for a short period of time the ram shackles allow you to charge when you're sprinting and you can break through like environmental backgrounds uh, and destroy crates and knock enemies down the battle walker will allow you to raise yourself up one level so if you run up to a certain area and they say like hey uh a build an outbuilding you could step on top of it and then raise yourself up again you can use different routes to get into buildings all of them have got their their perks but the battle walk is by far the most superior contraption you can get okay so jump out of bed and start a new suit contraptions this is the training section of the battle walk all you've got to do is raise it up hit the cardboard cut out and jump to the other side of, of that area. Fall down and we're gonna have another toolbox upgrade here. Press the button and the panel will slide out from the floor. I'm gonna chuck that upgrade on rotor as I've spoken about it a few times. Uh, this will take us through to the area which we shot the rogue drone in earlier. We're gonna run up and we're gonna trigger the cutscene with Bombati and Fergus. They're going to be struggling to put this base of the warheads onto onto the bomb right there. They're going to be really struggling with it. And then Max is going to turn around and he's going to come in with that special power he possesses. Lift that base up. Fergus is going to immediately shit his pants as he doesn't want to be blown to smithereens. But it's all going to go well. Whilst this is happening, you could actually turn around and go in the room behind you and get any refills you need. Um, don't forget, you've got the hatchet on the wall, you know, shotgun ammo and stuff like that all on that wall to the right there. It will take a while for them to move out of the way, so you can do whatever. Turn backwards, face the door, wait for Sigrun to talk to you and then open the door. If you open the door and then Sigrun comes out to talk to you after, she won't get out of the fucking way. So it's really jarring. So turn your back to that door, wait for Signum to initiate the conversation, and then press your uh, action button to open the door, and you'll skip that. I'm going up to the hangar because uh, I want to get some extra charge for the laser craft work. There's a couple of bits I'll need it for in the uh, Return the New Orleans dossier. Oh, that's the wrong way there. Head back down. Um, we're now going to get the upgrade for the battle walker okay oh bit lost frame rate there apologies right we want to head down to this section i'm about to walk in we we want to go and speak to irena yukova here she is she's going to uh say mr stubbins has gone crazy and we basically want to follow the route i'm taking to mr stubbins now this isn't needed you don't need this upgrade i liked having it because i thought it was good um but yeah, just follow the route I'm taking. Be very, very careful. Freeze the video if you're uh, if you're worried that you're going to take the wrong route. But yeah, take this route. Find Mr. Stubbin. Shoot that switch next to him. Then run in and give him a quick slap. Incapacitate Mr. Stubbin. And then run back out and talk to Irina. She's going to give you the Battle Walker upgrade. And that's going to help immensely uh, with the following section. Then we're going to run in, go to the helm, skip the long cutscene, and then go up to the uh, war map. We're going to plot for Manhattan, and then we're going to start our next section, 
which is to retrieve the New Orleans dossier. Okay, so we're going to start the retrieve the New Orleans dossier. It's the end of a new seat. So jump over to the other side. There will be a soldier directly underneath us. Drop on top of him and get a quick kill. These soldiers are called Atom Elites, by the way, and they're basically normal soldiers in hazmat suits. So on our right, we see another soldier. Uh, keep picking up health because your uh, your health is going to continually drop down whilst you're in the radiation zone. There's going to be another enemy coming up. We'll pop him. Now to our left, there'll be another one. So creep around the corner. Shoot this en enemy or hit him with a hatchet. Drop down. In these crates is going to be an armor and some health. There's some health all over the shop here. So drop through the hole in the floor. Right in front of us, we're going to have a commander and we're also going to have two dogs. So pick them off. Now to our right, coming up the stairs, we're going to have an enemy. He's going to walk up the stairs. We're going to take him out. Then we're going to turn left and run around to the other set of stairs. And we're going to take this one out leaning on the handrail. Pop him out. Jump over the handrail and there'll be another one in front of us. We can pick him off from here. Now here, we're going to have a commander and a dog on the bottom and we're also going to have another soldier up there on the stairwell and we can take him out use the battle walker get up to this vent and fall down turn right and run to the bottom okay so going here the door will close behind you it's going to block the radiation from outside it's going to change the atmospheric pressure and then you can enter the nuclear bunker. So get whatever you need from the ammo store behind you. Raise up a level. Jump around and we're going to ignore all these enemies. Turn left and quickly just run straight past everyone. Another left. Get through the doors as quickly as possible. Follow it around. Some more health and uh, ammo and guns there. Make your way around, follow the route which I'm following. There's going to be a robot in front of you. We take him out. As you come down to the stairs here, there's going to be two soldiers in front of you. Pick them off. Now follow this route I'm taking around. There's armour and health everywhere. There's a place to charge up your um, laser craft work there there's going to be a soldier walking around the corner in any second and as you can see there's also an armor and a gun back above him sorry commander walking around the corner there's a soldier near this handrail here so pick him off from the distance and aim at this corner here there's going to be a soldier walking around the corner we can take him out I fire a little bit early there so I don't quite get him. But as I run down you can see in the background a super soldier. So that gives us the positioning of that super soldier. So I'm going to take my laser craft work out. Charge it up. Bang. He's gone in one shot. So release that lever. Run round and we'll do the same on the other side. Now as soon as we open the door... Another soldier is going to walk through exactly where that arrow is. So charge up your laser craft work. Make him eat some laser. And run around to the corner. I wasn't sure whether I quite got him. So I thought I'd shoot him when he was down. Okay. Follow your way all to the bottom. Here is another place to charge up your laser craft work. As soon as that's fully charged. Turn round. Now you've got these doors, but they're only going to be open for a short amount of time. Now right there where that arrow is, is going to be a panzer hound. You want to take him out. He's going to take normally two roughly fully charged shots, or at least one and a half, I would say. Now there's piss ball shooting there. So I'm going to fully charge up the laser craft work. And when this door opens in the background where the arrow was, that's where the next Panzerhound is going to come from. So we take him out of fully charged shot. And a second. And he's gone. 
charge up your laser craft work again and head back in the direction where you just took out the second panzer hound now just head over to the back of the level there wait for the vents to open jump on this ledge fall down hit the lever and go down the elevator work your way to the bottom now do not go to the end where you see all that lovely armor and health and stuff that will trigger the commander and uh, it will alert all the enemies so just follow your way around to the right the right again you've got some armor and some bullets leaning against the computers and the chairs there is an enemy in the far left there so we can pick them off from where we are don't run because you'll trigger the enemy right in front of you there is the next enemy wait for him to just walk out pick him off and head around to the corner to grab a upgrade kit right there and we're going to lift the battle walker up we're going to walk around or actually I'm going to put the extended mag on the shotgun so walk around and take this route I'm taking so we're going to have another commander right there do not run because you will alert them now work your way around here we're going to have another commander and he's also going to have another enemy behind him just a normal soldier if you take the commander out you probably get the enemy behind him automatically there we are now we want to make our way back up to the top and collect the dossier okay as soon as you get the dossier that striped door in the background is going to open up and there's four hazmat atom elites which are just the normal soldiers in hazmat suits so that's two you can see the torches in the background they're still in there I'm waiting to pick them off but they're taking their time they're not coming out I can't quite get them there's one no if you're having a problem and you know there's two in there just jump over the edge and, and uh, head towards them you pick them off easy enough you've got a shelf full of ammo guns and whatever you need from there work your way in grab the mask so that you can uh, you can breathe outside and head towards the uh, head towards the lever there now you're going to drop down on either side of where those arrows are after you hit this lever it's the safest place to actually take these robots out I'll just edge up here you wait here and all the robots as they fall are going to run towards you and just hit them with the shotgun it's very easy this bit just stay where it, where I am make sure you take your time and just pick the robots as they come I'm not going to put arrows on the robots because you don't really need them they're all going to run towards this corner anyway keep yourself under there nice and safe wait for the robots I believe there's six of them and once they're done this lift elevator thing which you are standing on will keep raising up and then the helicopter is going to come and collect you and it's going to take you back to Eva's hammer so jump on board the helicopter once we arrive back on Eva's hammer as we just saw in the cutscene there we're going to realize some robots have uh, smuggled their way in there's going to be one directly in front of you and one where the left arrow is just on top of the helicopter take both them out and then run up and check if Bombati's alright he's fine so we're going to go into the helm we're going to speak to Grace Grace is going to be super pissed for you knocking on the door so quickly and running in and she's going to say hey motherfucker don't wake Abby up or I'll break your idiot neck here we're about to start the chapter of New Orleans this is mission 20 rescue Horton follow the route I'm taking because if you walk directly in front of you there's a little a uh, little stream kind of thing there and you'll get an alligator which will jump out and try and attack you so follow the route I take 
put your health up in this little building. Turn round, jump on the crate, use your battle walker to lift you up. And head round, we can see a, a yellow a yellow edge there. We want to lift our battle walker up to that area there. Take a right, use your battle walker again, and we're going to run and jump on the vent. As we fall through, look to your right. There is going to be an enemy where the arrow is. We can creep round, take him out of a silenced machine gun pistol. There is a super soldier down here. What we're going to do is just fall down. And I'm going to slash his power pack. I'm going to turn into the building on our right, or the door on our right. We're going to collect the toolbox. Then what you can do is you can shoot the leak of fuel that's coming out from his, uh, his fuel pack on his back there. And then we can make our way to the top. I'm going to put the tool upgrade on the ricochet for the shotgun. And then we're going to make our way through. Now, as you jump over here, there is a panzer on the left, a panzer hound. We want to keep away from him, otherwise it will breathe lots of fire at us. Here, we're going to have two enemies coming from the right, and there's also one on that bus there. If you go to the left, there's going to be four enemies on your left, so we don't want that. As we work our way around, stealth pass them. There's going to be two enemies here, and we can, we can get behind them and take them out with a shotgun. Pick your armor up. There's going to be a heavily armoured normal soldier there, next to the truck, take him out, jump into the water, and swim up to the back of the school bus. Make your way through the school bus, we're going to see a bunch of enemies in the background executing people, so throw some grenades towards them. If you've got a checkpoint there, that's, that's also a good place to spawn your grenade kills. Behind that truck where the arrow was, we're going to see... Uh, a super soldier, so we can take him out. Use your battle walker to jump through this bit. Um, go around to the back of the stairs where I am now, and there will be health packs. So fill up your health packs as much as possible. If anyone's wondering what the battle walker upgrade contraption did, it allows you to keep 200 health. Grab your tool upgrade box. Navigate your way into this room here. Now look in the bus window, we can see an enemy coming off from the right. And on the left there's going to be an enemy at the back of the building. So wait patiently for the soldier to come into view. Pick him off, turn around to the back of the building and take that soldier out. Now come to the corner of the bus and line yourself up with this uh, valve, this pipe on the edge. And it will allow you to jump on it, raise your battle walker, turn around and wait until you're hoisted into the air. Once you've done that, lower your battle walker and then take a running jump and you'll skip the need to, to trigger the, the crane for that area. Now with this area, just run around the edge of the building on the right like I'm doing here. Once you get to these two boxes, there's going to be two enemies around the corner. We can take them out quickly. You can take both out if you want. Run down here, throw a grenade at this canister, turn around to make sure no one's creeping up on you, and then run through the hole in the wall. Make your way to the top of the building. And fall out the window. Use the battle walker here. We want to get on these boxes. Okay, nice. Make our way to the top, break the wooden boards on the on the window, and keep your eyes on these two entrances here. We're going to see legs coming past so we can pick out a few of the soldiers without having to go down there and fight them. There's a couple there. There's still going to be more enemy soldiers out there, and there's also going to be two super soldiers that, that will uh, jet down from the sky. Okay, now I'm going to run to the back of the map here, turn around and wait for the two super soldiers that are going to be where those arrows are on the left. We'll pick them off as quickly as possible. There's going to be multiple enemies here. I'm not sure how many. I can see one or two, but there should be a few down there. There's one firing just in that corner. 
Hopefully there's another one there somewhere. Okay, so pick that enemy off. And the level is over. We can go and meet Horton at the bank. Okay, so climb the ladder, meet Horton, and we're about to start the revolution chapter of New Orleans. Now in this part, we're on a tamed panzer hound, which shoots flames. It's heavily armored, we've got 800 armor, so just stay on this for as long as you can. Now right in front of you, where the truck's gonna pull up, we're gonna have a bunch of enemies, so strafe left and right, but keep your eyes on that little gate on the right hand side where the arrow was because super soldier's going to come through they don't last too long if you can hit them directly with a flame you'll take them out really quickly so straight from left and right back and forward just try and take out the soldiers as quickly as possible and keep your eyes out for the super soldiers okay we've got another super soldier in the uh, gateway at the end there so we're going to take him out we've well, still got 600 health like once you take the soldiers out, walk through their armour and get some more armour back for the Panzer Hound. So you want to constantly keep that as high as possible. Now here, just aim at that right corner of the building, wait for enemies to walk through and just keep strafing left to right, left to right. Okay, and we're going to inch our way down piece by piece. Now there's a little helicopter at the end which is dropping enemies. There's going to be at least two enemies per side which dropped out there there's also a little mini gun one's going to be firing at us with you know so try and inch forward piece by piece now struggle by strafing now in the door i'm firing at now if you go in there there's actually another tool upgrade kit but i don't need it so i'm not going to grab it on this run right edge round now take out the canisters because if you get too near to the oil barrels and then someone shoots them they're going to do a lot of damage to the panzer and we want to keep this panzer for as long as possible so yeah just uh, edge forward there's another super soldier there we're going to try and take him out from a distance strafe left and right left and right okay keep taking the oil barrels out or any flammable canisters because we want to try and keep the panzer for as long as possible. Now just get close to this uh, entrance and just spray your flame through. Spray the flame through continuously. Now jump off the panzer. Now I'm going to edge round and pick a few enemies off here. There's going to be some on the top walkway there and some on the bottom. They're going to edge round. There's going to be at least four that will come round. And they'd also jump down as you, as you just saw there. He's on the walkway. We go for the lower ones. Again, keep your eyes on the red oil tanks that are flammable and explosive. We don't want them. Now, edge round. Look to your left on this barrier. We want to take him out before we go back in with the panzer. I jump on the panzer and try and collect armor that you've knocked off any enemies. If there's a super soldier or, or whatnot in those crates to your right there. There's going to be some more armor, so we're, we're knocking them crates over. Just edge round each corner. I'm not going to put an arrow for all the enemies here because you don't really need it. Just stand back and spray flames at all of them. And try and take out any flammable canisters you see, because you might get environmental kills. This is also a good spot. This is also a good spot to uh, get a save point at and reload your checkpoints and then continuously go for the environmental kills to get your perks up. Your perk kills, there'll be environmental kills and burning kills. And obviously you'd only be able to do that on I Am Death Incarnate, but if you're doing your I Am Death Incarnate practice runs, it's a good place to, it's a good place to upgrade them perks. Keep edging around, edge around, stand on the corners and spray the flame through. Keep your eyes out for the uh, Uber Soldats, um, which are the robots there. There's going to be another super soldier at the end. 
Now as you come into this bit, you want to keep your eyes on this balcony. There's always going to be a soldier up there that's going to try and pick you off. So we want to burn him alive. And then we're going to jump off. Now run through the sewer entrance here. Get yourself to the point I'm at now and an enemy is going to walk around the path on the left. We want to stay here and pick him off with our silence machine pistol. Same again with this corner. We're waiting for an enemy to come around from the left. We're just going to stay here and we're going to pick him off with our silence machine pistol. Alright, we're going to go around the corner. There's a commandant. There's a commander. So we'll take him out. Drop down into the water. Swim to the end. Turn the corner. There's going to be a soldier on the right. We want to take him out. You can get a, a combat kill if you feel the need. Or you can just take him out with guns. Up here. And that little hole there. There is a soldier. We pick him off. Climb the ladder. And slowly edge your way through here. Now speed will not be your friend in this bit. If you rush through, you'll probably get picked off by one of the soldiers. So just take your time, wait for them to walk around. In this little gap here, there's going to be another soldier who's going to be walking up. We want to take him out. As soon as he's done, we can make our way to the end of the level. And that's revolution done. Okay, so once we've opened the door, we're going to start the Lakeview chapter of New Orleans. Okay, so here we start Lakeview. Listen for 15 foot stomps. Fifteen. Now we can walk out. We can see the Zitadel has actually come to the bottom of the map, so we can literally just walk straight past it. So we're going to run past. We're going to shoot this prick in the distance where the arrow is. Take him out. In the crates is going to be some armor and some health, and then we're going to head down. Okay, so once we swim through, I'm doing running jumps here because there's an alligator in this sewer. So if you jump over the middle parts of that walkway in the sewer, you'll jump over the alligator. So that way you don't have to know where he is. Run out, there is a super soldier at the end here. We're going to get in with a charged laser craft workshop. There's another soldier just there on the left. I'm going to change over to assault rifles and we're going to plot up in this corner. Now you're going to have three soldiers that run and try and rush you and then after you're going to have a super soldier which appears from the right. Super soldiers should come any minute so you can charge up your craft work and take them out in one. Now go for a scavenge, have a look for any ammo, there's some shotgun ammo just here in the crate just in here in the shadows is another toolbox upgrade kit nice. grab that Should get to work on upgrading my weapons. now we want to head round we've got rid of all the enemies so we can take a stroll through to the end now here on the left is going to be an enemy always running in the same spot so we can take him out now I'm just going to run for this up the stairs, there's going to be enemy in this doorway. And then there's going to be three enemies up the stairs, so just fire randomly, like just in any direction up the stairs to clear a path for you. And you should be able to run straight through them easy enough. Run here, use your battle walker to go up one level and board the Eva's hammer. That will exit the level and that will take us to chapter 8 Venus, mission 23 which is the audition. 
So, in the audition, we're going to be told to go and learn our script. There's going to be three lines we want to memorise, and we need to pop them in when we get the prompt on the screen. Then there's going to be a long cutscene we can watch. It's a pretty good cutscene again. Once you get the prompt to appear above the chair, jump in the chair, pick your clipboard up, and then look at the paper. The three lines you've got to remember is, you're a Nazi whore, I will rape and murder you, and I will murder your dirty race too. So, and you're a Nazi whore? I will rape and murder you. I will rape so many German innocent lives you have killed, but the German rape will rise again. And then finally, I will murder your dirty race too. Once you've hit all them prompts, you can sit back, let the adrenaline subside a bit from your epic pro progression into my Leben. And then we can listen to Hitler rant. So, this voice actor, the one who plays Hitler, is Norbert Weiser. Now, Norbert Weiser has got uh, quite an impressive list of films he's appeared in. He was in Midnight Express as Eric. He was in Schindler's List as Albert Huber. Huger, sorry. He was in The Thing. He plays the Norwegian. And Hocus Pocus as Thackeray's father. Um, other things you might have seen him in he was in Breaking Bad there's um, an episode I think it's like the start of season 5 called Madrigal where he commits suicide as they're displaying the new sources for him to try and they uh, they reveal a new source they've got called Franch and uh, after he eats it he goes in the, uh, he commits suicide um, because he's got connections to the underground lab which was being built by Gus Fring uh, which Walter White's heading up yeah he's uh, another fantastic voice actor they've got in this one Wise has also been brought back for season 5 of Better Call Saul where he discusses the lab's creation with Gus Fring and says he thinks it could possibly resume being built after it had been stopped. Okay, now the lady who's doing the audition, Frau Helene, she's uh, she's another well-known voice actor. She's done a few games. She was in the Friday the 13th game as Jenny the Myers, the one which came out in 2017. She was a character in or Rainbow Six Siege. She was a character in that. Um, Rise of Nightmares, I don't know that game. Um, and she's obviously in the Wolfenstein game here. Her filmography, I think probably her most famous film that she's a part in is Hellboy. Now, gold star to anyone who can guess who she plays in Hellboy. I'm going to give you a clue. She's playing it right now in Wolfenstein. In Hellboy, she actually plays Helene Lenny Raffenstahl. Now, uh, Raffenstahl was a really famous, real person who directed Triumph des Willens, which means Triumph of the Will, and Olympia. They're two of the most famous propaganda films ever made by Germany during the Second World War. So she was a personal friend to Hitler during the filming of these projects. Um, and when the uh, Germany was defeated, she actually <laughs> claimed that she had no idea the Holocaust was going on. Uh, she used the famous, how could we have known, defence. And, uh, well, she got off. And, you know, her, her career did suffer damage, but unfortunately her lifespan didn't. Because she ended up moving to Africa and living until she was 101. So, <laughs> what more can you say, really? Fucking unbelievable. Anyway, the voice actor, uh, the voice actress in this, uh, the voice actress who's playing her in this, 
uh, Christina Klebb. She does a fantastic job. She's really good in this. So props out to Christina Klebb again. Now this scene's going to come to an end very shortly. Uh, William J. Blaskovitz is going to get up and he's going to show Hitler how it is fucking done by murking those Nazis down where they stand. So in a second we're going to run forward and we're going to do some very realistic acting. We're going to step through. We're going to walk up to this soldier. And we're just instantly going to execute him and shoot him down. Hitler's going to jizz in his pants. And that will be the end of that mission. Then we can start our new mission. Reach the Ober Commando. So immediately look to your left where the arrow is. We're going to have a soldier pottering along. We're going to take him out with our hatchet. There's an armour in the corner here. Turn, look to the door on the right where the arrow is and there's a soldier in there immediately. Get a silent kill with your hatchet and then look to your right and we're going to have an upgrade toolkit ready for us. We can grab that. Now crouch down here and walk very slowly past the two enemies on our left. Okay, if you just uh, crouch and walk past them, you won't alert them. Head to the door. We want to make it through the door here. There's an armor just here on the cart. There's an enemy there where the arrow was. Plot up here and wait for the super soldier to walk past you. There he is. Now we're going to run past that super soldier. Or walk past, sorry. We're going to kill that Nazi scumbag with a hatchet. Now we're going to load up and we want to run and jump because there's a super soldier on our left and there's an enemy on the right. We want to aim for the enemy on the right, kill him. Stop. Where that arrow was is the dog is going to run through and try and kill you. Firing the laser beam there is an enemy so we want to try and take him out. And run through this door. There's going to be a scientist there. So we're going to take the scientist out and then just plot up on this computer screen and wait for the uber soldat or the robot to run through so once he comes through get him with the shotgun uh, run through the door now in the distance is a flammable container next to the soldiers if you hit that it will stagger the soldiers and give you time to run up and close the distance and then you can shoot them with the shotgun when you're close enough now as you're waiting for the uh, capsule to open keep an eye on behind you because if you've missed any uh robots they've got a habit of whilst you're looking at the door running up and picking your back off whilst you're waiting for the pod to open so keep your eyes on the door open the pod and finish that chapter so now we're going to start we're going to start the surface mission of venus so once terra billy breaks from uh the pod we're going to be on the surface, we're going to run down, and in the distance is going to be another Zitadel. There's the Zitadel right there. Now you can fight the enemy, but I'm just going to plot up behind these boxes, and we're going to wait for, I don't know, 15, 20 seconds or so, for it to reach the bottom and turn round. Then we're going to creep up behind it. It's a pretty much... 100% guaranteed you'll make it past that enemy sometimes if you want to run down and shoot the enemy directly if you don't get a headshot it might get lucky and and kill you with one of its mortars <clears throat> so as we can see there on our right it's turned round and it's uh, retreating the way it came from so we can just crouch take a slow walk behind the door is there we can now see it on the left so now so now it turned around right make your way in there's two enemies there in front of you guarding the door we're gonna duck underneath and we're gonna head through the vent we're now gonna come up the stairwell there's two enemies the commander on the left and there's a normal soldier on the right take the commander out run to this door on the left pick up a hatchet there's some ammo there and then make your way up the ladder
Now, although we don't need it because I'm not really attaching any more of the toolboxes um, to anything important now, if you turn around, do a 180 and then drop onto the ledge, there's another toolbox behind you. So collect that, jump back onto the ladder, make your way to the top, and there's some armor and health. There's also a different gun there in the, on the left, but we're not going to use it. Now, armor up follow this route there's one robot on the left and there's a super soldier on the right run up this left path and pound this soldier two headshot bullets will take it out now follow the route i'm taking up these stairs i'm going to take a right and a right run past the drone <clears throat> make your way to the top of this stairwell now here in the distance on the left is another soldier so we take that soldier out. As you turn this way, there's going to be one on the right and one on the left. I'm just going to go for the one on the left. Take that out. We take a bit of damage to the back, but it doesn't matter. There's a commander in front of us. We take the commander out. And there's going to be one of these laser dogs which jumps out. We're just going to jump straight past him. And that's that section over. Now this area we're looking at right now has got lots of ammo. It's got lots of health packs, it's got some armor. So take whatever you need from this area before you move on. Get some grenades or machine pistol bullets. There's some um, charge for your laser craft work there. And then exit out. <coughs> left and left, upstairs. Now on our right here, we have another super soldier. So we're gonna run around to the left and circle round him. Now there's going to be a drone where this arrow was, so we're just going to run straight past him. Go past the drone. On your left, you're going to have a normal soldier and a super soldier at the top of the stairs. Run past the super soldier, round to your left and left again, drop onto the pipe, head over to the vent, jump up with your battle walker and fall onto the pipe on the other side. Okay. Make your way through the little gate. Now in this section, change over to your dual wield uh, assault rifles. Now here we're going to have one enemy, you can see there, as soon as you shoot him a dog is going to run around, a big laser dog, so take him out as quickly as possible. Okay, there's going to be three other enemies which run around the corner now. If you miss them, make sure you get the uh, big gas canister things which are there, that they take out the surplus ones. We're going to have one more in the distance. Pick him off and that will be that area cleared. Okay, so run back to the button in the elevator. It's going to take you up to another level. Some armor on the floor here there's some health on the right and there's also some bullets on the right there now there's a scientist we can see just through the window there there's going to be two more scientists on the right try and get them as quickly as possible so they don't split up okay fuck that up right got him now down into this area some more bullets on the right there some health as we walk into this next part we're going to have a number of uber soldats or robots where they are there where the arrows are i put four arrows there and there might actually be six six robots but if you just aim in the same spot you'll wipe them all out quick time fall onto the conveyor belt now on your right and straight in front of you are two scientists you want to take these out as quickly as possible if you hit the canisters too late the, you might actually drop some of the fire on you so you want to get that early if you're going to do it now to your right is another soldier on the platform take him out now this next one on the far left is a run destroyer if you do not get this soldier he will end your run because you'll find you'll miss him and he'll come further down the platform and he'll just shoot your back and you won't be able to turn around to get him. So that one there is a really important soldier to make sure you end his life as quickly as possible. Okay, you're about to jump off the conveyor belt now. Head into this next section. So I use whichever silence weapon you've gone for. If you've gone for the pistol, use the pistol. I'm using the machine pistols. On the walkway above you there, 
it's going to be a soldier who walks out take him out right in front of you there to your right is going to be another soldier you want to take him down sitting down there minding his own business of another soldier we're going to end him <laughs> sloppy right okay walk up in that walkway there is another soldier near the door take him out now in this door is another soldier I like to fire as the doors open it so we can definitely make sure he's a goner now I'm going to swip, swap over to uh, assault rifles here because I want to trigger an alarm we're going to have one enemy run round but more importantly the laser dog is going to run round and we'll be able to kill him uh, from like a nice position here we don't have to get too close so here's the laser dog take him out as quickly as possible we normally have another soldier who follows him and then behind him on the left is going to be the commander so we creep round take this commander out here he is get him now in there's two more one of them's on a laser and one of them's on a uh, hiding around the corner so we take him out and then if we go to the room behind us, we can get a big health pack. Uh, run back into where we killed that laser dog and uh, we can get some more armor. Now, right in front of us there on the right is going to be another tool upgrade kit. So you should have plenty of surf surplus upgrade kits if you've been using the, uh, the guide here. Like I'm going to throw a bunch on hand grenades and then I'll get the scope on the laser craft work. And that's the machine pistols. That's like five of your weapons all fully upgraded then. Machine pistols, the rifle, the shotgun, and uh, the grenades now as well. I haven't actually used the camp pistol or the uh, pistoli. So, fire a bullet in there, trigger a little enemy to come round. You can pop him off. If you think there might be another enemy around you, yeah, throw one of the grenades and, and witness their devastation now they've got the electromagnetism on them and the diesel upgrades there's going to be two super soldiers and this is a really good point to pick them off as soon as they come around the corner you can fucking obliterate them nice okay and we have one straggler who will appear edge rounds take your time as you come up the stairs here there's going to be two enemies you're going to have a commander and another enemy if you can't see them you can always just pop one of these explosive gas can canisters do not stand too close to them because they have a habit of shooting at the canister to kill you and it will kill you straight away finish these two remaining soldiers head to the back jump in the elevator and press the button it's going to take you up to your final level So we finally reached the Odin Commando. Okay, there's three enemies in here. Here they are. There's also a canister that I'm aiming at. So if you get that, that will probably take the front two out. Take the two out of the front and then right at the back is the last one there. Okay, they're all gone. There's some, some uh, rifle ammo in there. There's some health packs. Okay, have a little scout about. Make sure you're all fully sorted. Put your silenced pistol on for this one enter the room and shoot the globe right in front of you what I'm aiming at three silence bullets and it will fall down without triggering any people now I'm just going to run around ignore everyone there's two soldiers there but just ignore them and jump where the arrow is on the right in this middle centre console there's a hole fall through it and walk through now you can take a bit of damage because we have full health so make sure you're fully uh, upgraded in your health as you run past them Work your way through the vent, retrieve the Odin codes, and now head back to the Eva's Hammer. So, we arrive back on the Eva's Hammer, and they are gonna throw a birthday party for BJ, and then they're gonna get fucking hammered. Once you awake, Fergus is out of it and he's lost his arm. Um, 
So I would use uh, this time before you find the arm, I would use this time to get any supplies you need, all of the like uh, shotgun ammo, your machine pistol ammo, your rifle ammo, a free hatchet. Um, there's a armor pack up here which I was saving until the end so we can walk through grab the armor and then fall down and then we can head off to uh, to go and grab Fergus's arm now Fergus's arm it, you've got to go up to the top of the map where the hangar is and then you work your way there's a couple of crates which you need to shoot with well you could throw a grenade at them but get your laser craft work out and then pop the front of the crates off with the laser craft work there are the crates right there so if you shoot this one twice you can actually just walk through fall down the vent take her right and there is Fergus's arm do not miss Fergus's arm otherwise you've got to go all the way back round again and pick it up work your way down the crate and fall through once more and twice more and this is going to bring you into where the entrance to section F revisited was so now make your way back up to where the party room was where the bar area is in uh, the Eber's Hammer Club Chrysler I think reattach Fergus's arm and now we're going to finally start the last mission of mine Lieben it's been emotional Okay, so turn around immediately and run towards Anya. You'll fall over. She's going to run up and jump through the ascending ramp. Okay, she makes it in. She's going to trigger the switch, which will send the ramp back to us. We want to run in the ramp, push the button on the right. Now, as the door comes down, we want to keep our eyes out for this drone. Okay, as soon as that's done, we're going to have four enemies come in from the door on the right. We're going to try and pick them out as quickly as possible. They're more than likely going to beat you and work their way behind that pod in the middle. So just pick them off. Take your time here, because this is the final final chapter. So we want to take our time. Um, use whatever you've got at your disposal. I know there's one more which has escaped me. So I'm just going to look around can't quite see him he's about here somewhere he's probably on the right somewhere so there we go we heard him squealing like a pig there so he's a goner as we're gonna come in Anya is gonna have a conversation with Sigrun And she's going to work on getting these doors open. So right now, just run around, pick up any shotgun bullets, any ammo you want. Like, yeah, there'd be some health packs and some armor kicking around. You go to the second level if you're struggling on that. Okay, now wait here for the door to open. Now I'm actually going to take a lot of these enemies out on this run. So strafe to your left and use that as a shield if you're getting overpowered by the enemies once the door opens. So shortly the door's going to open. And we want to pick off as many soldiers as we can as quickly as possible. Here it goes. Right, so you're going to have at least two coming from either side. And at the back, there's going to be a super soldier, which is right there, which is going to keep switching side to side. So, take this guy out here. Now, keep your eyes out for that drone. That drone is another little fucker. Like, he's got the potential to take you out because you forget he's there and run in. And the drone will swoop down and start shooting you. So, you want to be careful with that drone. Now just take your time. Pick off any enemies you see. He's... The super soldier at the back is a uh, super soldier at the back is gonna fly through. We got the drone. Okay, so I'm having a look. It looks fairly clear in there. There will be enemies, which uh, which you can't see, but I'm now gonna brave it and run through. Run through this door on the right. There's always gonna be this soldier here. He's another creeper. So walk in facing him. Take the soldier out. Turn round, and then use your battle walker to lift up 
and make your way through. There's uh, some health and an armor. A lot of health and armor in this chapter, so if you take your time, it shouldn't be a problem. Now, use your battle walker, lift yourself up. There's going to be one enemy on the left in front of you and two hidden around the side on the right. So we take them out. One's going to try and run away, but we ain't having that. So we take them out. We're going to top up on some grenades. We know this area from earlier. Plenty of health packs and, and uh, ammo in there. So load up. Lift yourself up through here. Now this section, you've got the commander right in front of you. You've got at least four enemies on the floor. And you're going to have a soldier that comes around the same height right there. Okay. There is the super soldier. We can pick him off without moving. So just take your time with this and keep unloading on him. He's going to fall. Okay. Now there is an enemy up there somewhere. I can't see him. There's an enemy on the floor underneath me. He nearly picked me off. So, again, be careful. Take your time. And there we see the other one drop from that balcony I pointed at a second ago. So that looks like everyone's done. But take your time. Look around. Now on that top level across from us, there will be an armour. So you can... Right there. So, you go around to this corner, use the ladder, go up there, and refill your armour. And then once you're confident you've got everything you need, go and hit this switch. Make your way back to this switch right in front of us. Enter your Odin code and wait for the door to lift up. The code's Valhalla. Door's going to lift up and there's two enemies right there. You can take them out before the door's even lifted up. Done. Right, now there's a bunch of enemies in this next area. However, we're going to creep past a lot of them. We're going to do this stealth. So crouch, walk around slowly, lift up. There's the two enemies, but we're going to walk straight past them we're going to drop down and fall down this bit take a right and a right there's a super soldier right there but we're going to again walk straight past him the only two enemies we've got to worry about is as you go into this area here they are right there they're down this path there's two so pick out which one ever one you can the other should run towards you now go back get your health we're fully upgraded, so we're going to go up here. There is a super soldier behind you, but just run straight past him. Okay, now get your shotguns out for this bit. As we walk through, up on the balcony, there's going to be a soldier right there. So we take him out. Then we're going to have four soldiers come through and a super soldier that's going to follow them. Okay, now slowly we'll walk around the super soldier. Two headshots will take him out because we've got a fully upgraded shotgun. We'll run through to this area and talk to Anya. So Anya's going to tell us about the pod on the other side. We're going to go to that pod. We're going to jump in. The pod's going to lift us up. And as we are being elevated in the pod, we're going to get a uh, super soldier that is going to jump on top of the pod and rip the roof off and try and attack us so aim where I'm aiming and as he rips the roof off just hit him twice and he'll fall straight off or pound away until you know he's gone there we go he's on top of us right where the arrow is we're going to witness the pods being ripped apart there he is bang away he's going to fall off now stand up on the edge of this here and take your time you can fall off and lose your run here i've done it it's easy yeah, so stop the fan and then jump across duck underneath the fan and make your way through the vent now here on the right is going to be one enemy that walks through wait for him to surface and pick him off with your silenced weapon 
up these stairs. Make your way around. There's going to be another enemy straight forward and on our right. We're going to take him out and we're going to make our way to the bottom. And just there will be the final enemy. And if you get all three of these silenced, you won't have the five super soldiers spawn. Okay. So up here we've got one directly in front of us. We've then got two, a commander at the back and a normal soldier there on the left. Take him out. The other soldier will walk around. And that's that area done. Now pick up any armor or health, um, uh, weapons, anything you need. It's all going to be in here. So I'm going to swap over to dual wield assault rifles now after reloading the shotguns okay so we've got our dual wheel assault rifles we're now going to type Valhalla slowly into the keypads walk up stand exactly where I am now and aim in exactly the same spot I am there's going to be four enemies and there's going to be a laser dog or a laser hound once we take him out, it'd explode and it'd kill anyone that was behind him. So now we want to swap over to our shotguns. If we, if you're down on armor, run through the laser hound there and you'll pick some more armor up. Follow the route I am, just keep running. You won't have to fight any of the soldiers. You might get a shot in the back as you're going up here, but we've got plenty of armor and health. So make your way to the top of the ladder. We're going to see a super soldier appearing in the distance from Pod. There he is. We're going to completely ignore this fella. Fall off the end here. Take the route I am. Now go up this bottom ladder. There'll be a soldier midway down the stairs. Take him out. On our right inside, we're going to have a commander. So we're going to walk in, take him out with a shotgun. Then we're going to go up the ladder. And as we're doing this, swap over to your laser craft work, and there's going to be a Zitadel, which is spawning as we talk now. So get a fully charged shot ready, fall down, take your time, line up with its face. Make sure you get a headshot, and it will kill it in one shot. Done. Okay, so that's done now. Head up. Run to the back there. Pick up some health if you need it. Some more ammo. I'm going to swap to dual wield assault rifles again. Make your way through the vent. Turn left and head up the ladder. And we're approaching very, very quickly to the end of the game. Now aim exactly down where I am here. There's going to be a couple of enemies, but as soon as you fire at one, a laser hound's going to run run at you there's a super soldier on that balcony i don't have time to get him so we'll work his way around now come back to this corner and just aim down there's going to be enemies at least three or four rushing through and you want to keep your eyes on the left side as well because you'll either get one that will hide under the ramp and pop up or on the other side, if they work round the outside, they'll like try and flank you, but we're not going to have it. Take your next laser hound out, and keep firing down. There he is on the left, hiding behind the ramp again, so we'll get him. And then just keep aiming down these spots. So work your way forward slowly. Any enemies you see, take your time. There's the super soldier. Remember to strafe behind cover when you get the chance keep your eyes on that left flank to make sure no one's coming up see there's one there walk through the armor there's going to be more soldiers coming where the arrows are so get get yourself behind that crate and pick the remaining soldiers off as they come round there's going to be plenty of soldiers Walk round, here's another one coming down the stairs. And there might be another one following him. So always keep stay there and keep your eyes open to make sure no one comes out of nowhere. Right, okay, so this, this section's now done. Not too bad that section, especially if you're cautious and you, you stay back. Um, 
it will give you plenty of time the further back you are to see everyone and pick them off with the uh, with the fully upgraded assault rifles to so make your way into this lift hit the switch and this is the final section of mine leaving there's going to be two enemies flying here super soldiers that are going to fly out the pods make your way through and we'll be able to pick them off immediately with two shots there's going to be two more super soldiers which are going to come out the pods exactly the same as what's just happened so keep yourself down we also want to keep our eyes out for stragglers they're normally going to run through where this arrow is they'll normally be one or two there is one so we take him out wait for the soldiers to fall two bullets should be enough to do the soldiers if you hit them spot on last two super soldier pods are about to go we are going to pick the one on the right off i believe and then we're going to then we're going to run past the other one and we're going to go and hide there this is our finishing spot right where that x was so come up here it's going to guard us it's going to guard our flank on the right and we can pick all the stragglers off there's going to be at least four enemies that come up to you here maybe more there's one two three four I miss one of the soldiers there we get him and then slowly is going to be the super soldier which appears two bullets will take him down you can creep edge forward into the armor there right this is it this is the final bit once the door opens you're going to have two new enemies called destroyers or zest stormers yeah once they that this door opens run we're not going to fight these guys there's going to be one normal soldier here on the corner we take him out and there's going to be one final one they they take a little bit of time the destroyers to target you but we're going to run past them we're going to go for the ladder get in this vent and if you make it into this vent you've beaten mine leben okay now i'm going to turn around and throw some grenades down there to fuck up one of the destroyers i'm going to swap over to dual wielded assault rifles to pick up this one straggler who's always there pick him off now jump up run up here do a zigzag in case one of the destroyers decides to pick you back off work your way into here hit the main Odin control center and you have beaten mein Lieben so this is it you've beaten mein Lieben all we've got to do now is run to the back of the map the back of this level and slap frau in the face with a hatchet she fully deserves it um yeah i i i'd like to say thank you to anyone who's made it the full length of the video if anyone's got any tips for me on how to improve the next videos feel free to leave them in the, in the comment section if people like this video or didn't like this video let me know if you want to see me doing other tutorials or guides again let me know yeah yeah like uh, i hope i hope it's been helpful for people i've got done an any percent run of mine leaping as well make sure you check that out if people wanted to see me do a tutorial for that depending on how well this video does i'd be more than willing to do one this is doable the more the more you practice the easier this is going to become so we're finally approaching the end we're going to let frau engel know what a cunt she is bang mine leben is over thank you very much to anyone who's watched it start to finish if this has helped anyone at all i'd really appreciate it if you could subscribe it's going to help the channel immensely i'd like to double my subscribers this year i've had a big gap off but i'm going to continue i'm going to come back with force over the next few months so thank you once again I hope it's helped. Feel free to post anything in the comments. Let me know how you feel. If you like my commentary, didn't like the commentary, or what I could do better next time. It's been Johnny Man Beast. First full length tutorial. Plenty more in the pipeline. Let us know what you think. Take it easy, people. Peace. Stuff in your face.
full of bright words as you're sitting in front of your Nazi television boxes. Just laughing. <laughs> laughing all the lies they've been feeding you. Laughing till you're choking. Well, it ends tonight.